May the Lord bless and keep you. Let's go to James chapter 1, verses 5 through 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. I may only do verse 5, perhaps. I may go all the way to verse 7, perhaps. Okay. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. So what is this saying here? What does liberally mean? Let's look it up. Don't be afraid to look up words. Nothing wrong with it and large or generous amounts. What does upbraid mean? Find fault with someone scold. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, which is, in large or generous amounts, and abradeth not, find fault with, scold someone. To find fault with someone, scold. And it shall be given him. There are many things that we want to know. I know for myself, with my supernatural experiences, 99% <laughs> of them, I don't understand. So, <laughs> for many of them, I want to know the meaning of them. Some people may not ask God for wisdom or answers for their questions because they may believe that God is not going to answer them. So they choose to not ask God. What you should do is write down the questions that you have for God. And afterward, Take your mind off those questions. So in so many words, figuratively speaking, if your questions aren't answered really quickly, just place them on the shelf, figuratively speaking. Put them on the shelf, write them down. So after a month or two months, three months, whatever, you can look back and see, hey, which questions have been answered? This is what you can do. Let's go to verse six. But let him ask in faith, so him or her, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. And what this is saying, don't doubt. When you ask God for anything, don't doubt. This is why I tell you, when you ask something, take your mind off of it. Don't contemplate to yourself, hey, I wonder if my prayer or prayers are going to be answered. Don't be that way. Take your mind off of it. What is the point in thinking of it? There is no point. When you ask God for anything, this is why I say write it down and place it somewhere. 
So you can check later after a month, two months, five months, whatever, and see what prayers have been answered. And this is going to encourage you to continue on asking. Because in truth, what is it going to hurt by asking God questions? Nothing. What do you have to lose? Nothing. Nothing at all. You don't have to pay anything. It doesn't cost anything. Really no time or effort. At least not much. Verse 7. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So what this is saying, if you don't ask in faith and you are always doubting, what this is saying you can't believe that you are going to receive anything of God. Like you are asking God, but at the same time, you are doubting if he is going to do it. What is the point in asking him if you doubt that he is going to do it? Don't doubt. When you ask, write it down, place it somewhere, and take your mind off of it. Let me say this, which I don't do this anymore. <laughs> there was this one person, or maybe that person and someone else, and they would do things to irritate me. And I did not want to keep it in my mind, so what I would do is write down what that person did so I could take my mind off of it. So if that person tried to come back and whatever else, I can go right back to my notes and see why I stopped talking to that person, which I don't do that anymore. So my point is, write down your questions and take your mind off of it. Because what you don't want to do is always contemplate, think about, hey, is God going to answer my questions? I want my questions to be answered now. If I want it, let me say this. <laughs> This is going to be really easy to understand. If I wanted to teach you patience, to test you in the area of patience, would I answer or give you everything that you wanted and need, or would I answer your questions, all of your questions, quickly if I wanted to teach you patience if I gave you everything that you wanted at that second how are you going to learn patience how are you going to learn long-suffering you won't so maybe I am trying to teach you patience because there is something that I need you to do for me that is going to require patience. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.